So apparently 2022 is going to be the year of Cortez, so let's get into it. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. So there has been confirmation that a Sakai and Nike Cortez collaboration is coming up this year. As we mark the 50th anniversary of the Cortez shoe, apparently 2022 is gonna be all about Cortezes. So we are gonna be going through some of the details and some of the first looks of this shoe. Really, really excited about this. This collaboration has been confirmed by Sakai as they have been spotted in the men's 2022 fall and winter lookbook. We not only saw one colorway, we actually saw two colorways. Firstly, we'll talk about the Nike Cortez as a standalone shoe from Nike. Personally, I don't actually own a pair of these, but I have always really, really liked them. I do feel like they are a very unique shoe compared to other trainers, mainly because of kind of like the squashed up toe box. That's how it literally looks like a pug's face. Like that's how I think of it. Like it's got a very squashed toe box. Um, but other than that, I really like the colorways of the shoe and I absolutely love the classic white, red and blue. Also, I love the traction, the kind of jagged look on the bottom of the sole as well. I think one of the reasons why I didn't buy this shoe is I wasn't really a huge fan of the whole upper being smooth leather and um, combined with like the white EVA foam as well. I just felt like the shoe looked a little bit cheap for me. I kind of think this would be like a shoe I'd wear and then when it gets worn, it really wouldn't look nice anymore. But let's have a closer look at the pictures that have been released of the Nike Cortez and Sakai collaboration. So the two colorways we have seen, we first have the classic white, blue, and red colorway. When I think of the Nike Cortez, this is the colorway that I immediately think of. And then we also have a gray and white pair. As you can see, it kind of has gray tones to it. Getting into the finer details of the shoe. So it all starts with the basic Cortez silhouette, but we obviously have the Sakai double up features, which everyone absolutely loves. So we have the double laces, the double tongues, and of course the double swooshes. I'm imagining towards around the back of the shoe as well, we have the double logo. We have the standard Cortez Cortez swoosh, but we also have an additional one which is printed at the front as well, as you can see. One thing I love about the Sakai is the oversized sole. Here we have a combination of the jagged midsole, and interestingly, we also have the air zoom pod, which is exposed, as you can see, at the forefront of the shoe. And of course, we have the exaggerated heel clip, which I think is probably my favorite part of these collaboration shoes. Also around the collar, it looks like we have two padding collars. Usually we see one of them on the Nike Cortez. This is probably gonna make it so, so comfortable as well. Also, you can see that these shoes are a combination of smooth leather. And then as you can see on the toe box and eyelets, it looks like soft suede as well. There hasn't been any pricing confirmed, but I'm thinking they're probably going to be similar to the LD Waffle Sakai's. And they were around 150, 160. So I'm guessing they will probably be the same. I think they have taken the best parts of a Nike Cortez and they have collaborated it very well. I think a lot of people will be going for these. These will definitely sell out. I feel like even if people don't really rate them, a Nike and Sakai collaboration, always goes down quite well and um, so I do think this will be a popular shoe and I think a lot of people like me will be very very interested to see what these actually look like. I have also seen a Union Los Angeles collaboration as well with the Nike Cortezes. A very very different vibe to the Sakai's but very nice as well. I'm sure that we'll be seeing some more collaborations. Let me know what you guys think. Are you interested in these? Would this be something you would add to your personal collection? Also let me know what other collaborations you think they will do with the Nike Cortez as well. I'm very, very interested to find out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys next time.